We all have our favorite character that we love in each show. It seems like these shows can't go on without them, but there have been times when they left and the show managed to go on. But some are just irreplaceable. According to the Blue Bloods showrunner, Tom Selleck could be one of those people. We will check out why next and get a lot more mind-blowing Blue Bloods news. Warning, mild spoilers. First up, Selleck as the show's center of gravity. Sometimes shows can reinvent themselves and continue on without a critical character. But I just can't imagine Blue Bloods without Frank Reagan. The family would never be the same, and the show wouldn't be either. But it seems like fans aren't the only ones that know this to be true. Blue Bloods showrunner Kevin Wade has admitted that it would be impossible to make the show without Selleck. He even called him the center of gravity for Blue Bloods. That makes sense. It is kind of the exact role that Frank plays in his fictional family's lives too. He has taught them to have a moral compass, and in some regards, he is still the glue that holds everyone together, even when he is arguing with one of his children, which does admittedly happen often. Tom Selleck was involved with Blue Bloods right from the very start, and he has a lot of input in the stories that are told in the series, especially for his own character. Wade has said that they like to get his input whenever they start a new storyline to make sure that he agrees it's something that Frank would do. Selleck has played many iconic roles, but for many of us, he has become Frank Reagan, and I do think that he deserves to have his say in the direction that they take in the show. Next, pushing the limits of the characters. Wade went on to explain that the writers of Blue Bloods really enjoy pushing the limits of these incredible characters. Frank, for example, obviously wouldn't face the same challenges as Jamie or Danny would face as active cops, but he does face a lot of drama behind the scenes. Still, he has always said that he loves his job and that he wouldn't want it any other way. That is why they challenge him by giving him other opportunities where the pay is better and the politics are less, or where he could help out Aaron. If that doesn't work, then they throw in enough drama to ensure that he considers walking away from the job. They want to push the limits that the characters have and get them to come out the other side true to who they are. And that is where a lot of discussions come in with Tom Selleck. He's been Frank Reagan from the moment that Blue Bloods have started. And he's also a very talented and seasoned actor. Getting his two cents on certain subjects and making sure he believes in them too can be a very valuable asset that the Blue Bloods team has, and just another reason that they can't do the show without it. Up next, getting great guest stars. Blue Bloods has had some really incredible guest stars and appearances that last for a few episodes, and they normally fit into the world where Frank lives. You don't often see a famous actor appearing as the bad guy or the body. It is just easier to fit them into Frank's world and allow them to guest star opposite him. For example, Tony Danza has appeared as an officer who had a troubled son. And then there's Jimmy Buffett, who has appeared and many more. I think getting to work with Tom Selleck is a great selling point to get some really talented people, even when they don't actually appear together on screen, which doesn't happen often. Then they can still say that they worked on the same show as Tom Selleck. How cool is that? Added to that, the fact that there are still a lot of other great actors on this series, then we can completely understand what has made the show the crowd pleaser that it is. Next, Donnie Wahlberg on season 13. The actors on this show have now finished filming season 12, and we are set to see the last few episodes very soon. This comes after Blue Bloods has been interrupted and gone on breaks a bunch of times this season. But since season 12 is almost done, fans are starting to wonder about season 13, and it seems like we aren't the only ones wondering what comes next. Why haven't we gotten renewal news yet. Recently, Donnie Wahlberg took to Instagram to share with fans that the season has wrapped and that they were, then hopefully, onto season 13, God willing. It sounds like the creators and cast of the series have not gotten any official word about another season either. And if they did wrap season 12 already, then it could mean that they are leaving things up in the air. If Blue Bloods were to be cancelled right now, it's possible that they could leave us with a bit of a cliffhanger. Luckily for us, Blue Bloods has always been been pretty great with wrapping things up between seasons. So hopefully, if this is the end, then they can still give us all the ending that we all deserve. Are you excited to see how things turn out this season? Are you hoping for season 13? Or do you think that it might be time for the series to wrap up? Let us know all your thoughts in the comments section. We love to hear from you. Next up, we'll check out the new record the show has set. But here's a hint, it wasn't a positive one. The episode that had Tom Selleck fighting not to break down and
and so much more. Now, the new record that Blue Bloods has set. The show has been on Friday nights for quite a few years now, and even though it's a night that has traditionally done pretty horribly in the ratings department, Blue Bloods has defied the odds and has always been a top performer for CBS. But now, sadly, they've set a new record for the all-time lowest ratings that season 12 has had thus far. And season 12 has already not been doing so great in the ratings department, as we're used to seeing for Blue Bloods. That could be because of all of the delays this year, or it could be because fans seem to think that this season just isn't very good. One fan even said that they had checked if the writers on the show changed because it felt so different. It had definitely impacted the show's viewership. Does that mean we have to worry about the series being canceled? I don't think so. Not yet, anyway. If the numbers keep dropping at the rate that they have been, then the show will surely get into trouble at some point. But for now, even with the drop in ratings, it's still one of the powerhouse shows for the network. There are still many watching the series. Hopefully, that will mean that they will give it another try and allow the series to redeem itself in season 13. Next, the episode that had Selleck breaking down. Much like his character Frank Reagan, Tom Selleck seems to be the quiet, controlled type that doesn't often show the world what he's thinking. So, when he shared the episode that had him fighting against breaking down, he just knew it had to be one that was completely heartbreaking. This episode took place all the way back in 2011, almost at the start of the series. And it is one that still sticks in Selleck's mind. The episode that Selleck calls his favorite was in Season 2, Episode 12. It was the episode where viewers found out that Frank was actually in the North Tower of the World Trade Center on 9-11. It had to be rough to film. New York is such a big part of the show's identity, and back then, it had only been a few years after the terrible attack that took so many lives. It was still so raw. Selleck admits that it was hard for him to be strong as an actor, not to break down because Frank is tougher than that. Frank was there with his partner John, and they were helping victims. It was later revealed that John got sick from the air that they both breathed that day, and that Frank still had a lot of survivor's guilt and trauma because of everything that he saw. It was hard but special, because they were also the first show to film the Trade Center Memorial right after it was finished. Now, Donnie, most memorable family dinner. Family dinner is important in the series, and there have been many since pretty much every episode in the series has a family dinner, but Donnie Wahlberg has shared that it was the very first one that was the most memorable. Danny had a bit of an attitude in the scene, and it sounds like it was really intimidating going in front of a legend like Tom Selleck and taking over the dinner table with his attitude. Wahlberg has called it one scene that he will never forget, and we won't either. Have you enjoyed season 12, or don't you think it was as good as previous? previous years? Let us know. Thanks for watching.